Welcome to the Tribute Lounge. I'm Shane Johnson, and today I re-welcome Rocket Man, Arthur Longo, back to the lounge. Arthur, thank you for coming. Thank you, Shane. Appreciate this. And uh, I dragged Arthur in today because I really want to deep dive what his engagement with his snowboard is. So we touched on it last time. We really got into the aeronaut. But I want to get into bindings and boots. Most importantly, I want to get into this binding. As you know, I love this thing. You're the reason I started to ride it more because when Arthur was talking to me upstairs, he was like, Shane, once I rode the, the Ultra, I just kind of loved my snowboard even more. I remembered you saying that. And I was like, OK, got to try that. And I've had this thing on on all my boards last year. These are the ones I recently got from my rep, Tony Lafroy. Super excited to be riding these for the rest of this season. And yeah, I wanted to bring you in and let's let's get into this. Let's get into our contact to our snowboard. Yeah. And why we choose what we choose when we're riding. Arthur also rides vans, of course. We have the Infuse and the Verse here. But uh, let's start with buying. Uh, yeah, sure. But um, yeah, first of all, you want a good like combination of like board bindings and boots. It's kind of what you're Absolutely. looking for. Um, so, you know, like, um, I, I'm sorry, we're going to talk about this one, but, you know, we can also talk about the force and which is like uh, made a bit like, which is really strong for like, you know, fast and strong riding. Stiffer response. St stiffer, in that way base stiffer, blade. maybe a bit more precise in some like hot pack snow and yep. stuff. And you ride those as well. I do. I yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're amazing for what they do. But for sure, when I was here last year, we're like doing more backcountry and maybe not so fast riding, kind of more cruisy. Little and surfier. like trying to also discover my board a bit more and like, you know, how it reacts and stuff. I would feel, uh, yeah, my board under my feet a bit more with this, like, the less uh, stiff uh, stiffness of the base of this uh, binding. Yeah, this is a really unique base plate. And we'll, we'll play a little imagery downstairs. I had my local rep, Tony Lafroy, come through. We deconstructed. We took a binding apart. Okay. So Tony has it all in the pieces. Yeah. So we have this thermopolymer elast thermopolymer elastomer outsole. So this is essentially plastic mixed with rubber. Acts as a wonderful shock absorber. But because it's quite stiff, it acts as a really, 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 really good response of base plate. Okay? So beyond that, it's kind of that same understanding as the force, where we've got this reactive dampening in the middle, almost acts as a shock absorption. A suspension system, like in your car, acts as shock absorption, provides that shock absorber there. But because this reactive dampening is so responsive, who was talking about it, is so responsive, you put in, it gives back. So it not only acts as that shock absorber in the middle, but it really stays nice and stiff. So you have that responsive outsole, you have that comfy midsole that acts as a shock absorber. And because this material is so comfy, we put it in the strap and we put it in the high back here. So that's what we were talking about. Arthur goes huge. This is taking up impact, no question. Like yeah. I think you're landing some of those 60 footers and you're not always landing in powder. No. You are, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're hoping you're hitting transition. Yeah, yeah. But this guy's the small, that's the bigger one. Okay. Yeah, Imagine. so, and that's what I found interesting here yeah. too, because there's less of a zone on your board yeah, that exactly. it's clamping, oh, exactly. right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So we get a little so bit more. So there's more torsions. A little more binding yeah. feel. More torsions, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And you know what else is unique with this that we found is you kind of have more stance options. If you want to slide okay. right to the back, yeah. which I did on your board, I went right back seat to ride at yeah. 90s because fuck riding switch, yeah. like, <laughs> like we said last time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so I went right to the back seat to ride that thing like a true 90s board. Yeah. yeah. And man, you could you could get an extra about quarter inch out of, yeah. out of these guys sliding okay. back. Cool. But another thing that's unique too is, is the Forma X strap on this. We have foam again. Yeah. Where a lot of straps, and, and we do here too, which is what I loved about that one. Yeah. But a lot of straps were just going to that extruded mold. No plastic. Yeah, plastic yeah. and no foam. Yeah. And I'm happy to see this back. Yeah. It's comfy. Same. Same for me. Yeah. The uh, comfort. Um, yeah. I could be hurt like a bit more like sometimes from the, the plastic uh, ones. 
and these are like just you know you you don't even feel them they're like really precise and like they don't give you a hard like uh you know pain point pressure, that you, points, pressure point yeah, that you can have yeah. sometimes so yeah i would say they they provide a lot of comfort actually and <laughs> and precision like it's a good it's a weird good mix compromise. i know because you good think compromise. it'd be really soft and yeah. and, and almost too comfortable so to yeah. speak but no it's it's got the power and i think that's built into this you know the outer plastics here are still giving us yeah. that yeah. power and drive when we're riding yeah well how do you feel about the high back because now they're very soft but i don't think it's a problem and yeah we don't have a no lean, forward lean. No forward lean. So, you know, you just like, you just ride what you get. Um, and I never, I never set any forward lean, like ever, even when I was riding pipe, you know, a lot of the riders were like exactly. going for it and were really surprised that I, I wouldn't. But um, yeah, I just like, my way of snowboarding was always like zero degrees or, you know, and uh, so I, I don't mind it at all. Maybe it can be surprising for the people that want to set it, but. Um, I don't find uh, you need it. I mean, this might be again, 12 degrees. Like, this is just like, it feels right overall. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't have to change the, the setting, I feel. Um, and they're not, it's not like it's soft. And, and I see people, you know, flexing high backs like this. You're never going to flex a high back like that when you're riding it. It's coming from in here. So. Yeah, there's some play. Yeah, but it's it's enough to tweak. Yeah, but it's still really cradles. Yeah, and yeah. that's where I you know I'll say this is surfy, and Mark and I will use that term a lot. Surfy doesn't mean soft. Surfy is more a style of riding, mm -hmm. and I and Arthur really has that vibe. You're a little more upright at times, but low, and you can see your body moving like a surfer. Yeah, you know yeah. I I do equate you and DCP to kind of having that that more style. Thank and you. And this. <laughs> binding lends to that. Like this yeah. binding helps with that yeah. vibe quite a bit. Yeah, I can't speak enough about it. But I, I think what's unique is is the you know the exoskeleton here and the fact that there's a lot of zones that are just this foam. Yeah, yeah. No, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, it's funny because uh, I was like going through some comments about the board and like. Uh, and maybe I, I was reading one comment that was saying, uh, oh, poor choice of bindings and combination of uh, the bindings and board. And I was like a bit like, oh, fuck, is this person right? And But, but when you chose these? Yeah, when I no, chose these. It's, uh, and I don't know, they do the job for me, so. Uh, I'm surprised upstairs. Yeah. Like we're really, sales between the two have been quite even. Yeah. And you know which rider wants which. I mean, the, the new force, is responses now. Yeah. It's very immediate. Yeah. Um, a, amazing suspension, yeah. but it's immediate. Yeah. It's a it's a bit more um, well you like we went to Sasfe recently on like ice, pure ice, and I had these bindings and uh, in the pipe and I was like, oh maybe that was a day for force, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like everything is harder, like faster. And you maybe need a little bit more precision or like uh, safety in your, you know, in your, in your technique or whatever. So not skipping in, in out or feet. anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a really one day where I was like, okay, the force would have made more sense today. Yeah, but, true, true. Uh, yeah. Um, overall, I like this one a bit better. No, absolutely. Yeah. So now let's look at okay, we we have our binding systems. The Burse, yeah. and then the Infuse, which yeah. was Arthur's pro model last year. I love this new birch color they've come out with this year. Yeah. But with these two, again, the Vans boots, the outsole these guys have created, when yeah. you're going huge, you match those two together. Yeah. You've now got a bit of a suspension or a cushion that is yeah. it's pretty incredible. I yeah. mean, how many times have you bruised your heel on one of those big 60-footers? Well, zero time. See, <laughs> there you have it, right? So I, again, combination of pr choice materials too. I mean, the outsoles they've been using, like, yeah. they're just bomber. It's yeah. so good. This new all track outsole is pretty killer. And so, yeah, let's, you know, when you choose between your two vans, yeah, how do you come about that to, I, in the morning? 
You can have shoes like by what you receive in the mail. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a little bit why I wrote the verse one day. I was like out of boots and I don't know, maybe it was like a good opportunity to just try the verse because I had a pair or something. Mm -hmm. And then I did the rest of my season with them. I was surprised. I thought they were less of my taste because they're like, they're pretty, pretty stiff for sure. And I always uh, wondered why Blake was really loving them. And because, yeah, they're so stiff, like really. But uh, I, after a few days of breaking them in, I, mm -hmm. I started to feel so good and so secure. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. so uh, like a lot of cushion and like a lot of like maintaining your feet like proper. Yeah. And also, it's so like, Casual with the the boa, it's like you just. I'm really in, starting to love boas in, too. Boom. Yeah, it's the convenience like, is pretty rad. It's it so is. cool, and there's there's like amazing details, um, and they're probably like a really good combination with the ultras actually. Well, I think yeah, yeah. You, you touch on something really smart. There mm. is let's go a little stiffer here and a little more chill here. Yeah, you don't want to go stiff. And like stiff, maybe right? a stiffer bar. It's like you want to try to find a right balance. So, yeah. 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 And I, I think with every snowboarder, there's going to be that journey getting to that point of yeah. knowing, okay, it's that boot with that binding works for me. But yet you're right. Every different snowboard is going to throw that off. Yeah. You jump back on a Mega Merc. Yeah. And it's a totally different choice yeah. again. Yeah, right. For so, sure. yeah, it's, that's, that's a unique part in the journey when we're buying stuff and when we're actually looking for the gear. And yeah. No, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So stance-wise, I know we talked about this last time, but just tell everybody your angles again yeah. and your width for, <clears throat> for what you go um, with. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't change them so much, but like my, the, the width of my uh, stance, I, I never really know. I just eyeball it. Yep. And so well, from when I do my bindings from one board to another, it can change a little bit, and I just like, get used to it pretty quick. But it's rather a little uh, tiny, I would say, narrow. It's not, yeah, I'm not like, you know, why? Not doing 90s I'm, old school, no, 25s. Not, like, and not <laughs> super stable like this. I'm like a bit more like, ooh, yeah, like a bit more, yeah, a little bit more narrow. And um, I don't go with crazy angles. I have plus 15 and minus 6. Yeah. Yeah. So my knees, they work quite, you know, in the same Negative six is really good. Anyone that's that's playing around, I I would always say never go beyond that and if you're, if you're learning. Switch, so. And we don't ride switch. I don't go switch. I don't go switch much either. So, yeah. yeah. No forward lean. No switch uh, for today for these two guys. But um, no, that's cool. I think yeah. When I looked at your board last time, your stance was like around twenty one. Where um, we've got a team rider too about your height, and he likes that narrower stance. Yeah. And yeah. He's quick. It's part of his style. Yeah. You know, really lens to that style it can, of and like in some situation it would just make more sense to be wider and more stable and some other it just influences your writing yeah. for sure yeah and you just you just gotta make choices it can like <laughs> we have nothing that just works super good for everything hence so, why we have quivers and, so we and, have yeah. to select what we like most and yeah yeah yeah. No, I, I think if anything, the takeaway is we, we've all been buying quivers of boards, a couple boards. You know, you, yeah. you're obviously riding your pro model, but you might have a Merc in the mix too, or maybe yeah. a Megadeth oh, or something, yeah. right? Um, because they lend themselves to different terrain. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the same could be said for bindings, right? Yeah. There's yeah. no reason why you shouldn't have two pairs of bindings in a season. Yeah. And these two are a pretty, I mean, that's a pretty good choice right there. That covers everything. Yeah, you know, really, sure. the new force and this ultra. Yeah, especially uh, you know, I w I will make mention of the new. If you bought the original ones, there was a different toe cap. This new toe cap is uh, the toe straps really. Oh, nice by the way, yeah, I mean it's like not important to say, but now I rock them on top of my toes for I'm the first <laughs> year of my life. That's cool because um, David's the same. DCP's the um, same way. Yeah. yeah. It's it's cool. So I, I cannot go back to the tip of my front. My I love that my toes anymore. I love that. So yeah. Union has always given you that option where you yeah. can run them it's, right across the boot seam here. Yeah. Or you can run them old school yeah. essentially. Yeah. And I think you're gonna get a little bit more 
lateral movement, right? Yeah, it might be just for the style. It's not sucking you in, and it could be for the style. <laughs> Let's bring the 90s back in every way we can, right? No, it just like feels good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Arthur. Yeah. Um, when it comes to riding, too, I think um, we can talk a little bit about riding styles. Like, where did you grow up riding? What was your home mountain originally? So it was Les Alpes, and there was a, a bit of everything. Like, they had, like, a really good uh, park. Mm -hmm. uh, they had, like, it's a big mountain. Had, there's a glacier, so we could actually ride uh, in the summer as oh, well. Oh, lucky. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. And so it goes, like, from pretty high to pretty low, and there's all sorts of terrain, like, kind of, like, a bit of everything. But yeah, we had pow and park and a lot of lifts and a lot of snowboarders when I grew up. Uh, so that's awesome. In the nineties, there was like uh, there was like a snowboard club there. We were like I was riding with people from my age or like uh, older people, you know, like my brother and his friends, mm -hmm. and I was just yeah. And my parents were like pretty cool, and they would let me go ride with like anyone that would take That's me awesome. to ride yeah. yeah yeah so i would yeah just do it all the time what were the guys you were looking up to back then then who who uh, would you put up on your wall if you had a, a snowboard a, hero when you were a like young guy a long time ago now but like for maybe some people would maybe know about guillaume chastagnol totally yeah, yeah. yeah. uh david vincent uh and these are like the the frenchies so maybe when you're french you're like yeah. looking up more to like also like that's your community that's your yeah. crew in your yeah, zone for right? sure and there was later on like for sure david benedek and like all the yeah the oh when he was on capita I yeah mean, that was, he was such a charger yeah powerful yeah. rider yeah i could see a bit of that too in in the influence there on your riding too that's that's cool. super cool nice but that yeah that was a bit later for sure. yeah yeah but we had a trade show in Les Alpes. Like that was uh, early, that was in October and the result would open and there was like, te we could test boards and there, were, there was like a, a mega vert ramp with like a skate demo and like, a, that was a huge event yeah. at the beginning of the winter and a lot of Americans and like foreigners came and it was like, you know, I was a kid and I, I would see all these guys like jumping and doing their thing and awesome. that influenced me a lot. Yeah. And my dad also was a photographer he is a photographer and he was shooting a bit of the local heroes like doing their their jumps and stuff mm -hmm. so i was like usually part of the session like watching the session with my dad cool. and they would like session so is this house people started to notice your skill set over time yeah maybe your or riding talents really, yeah see early on like seeing people like shaping a spot or yeah, you know yeah. like I was just, and I wanted to do the same thing. And so how did it evolve then to Capita and Union and you working with them? How did they find you? Or uh, I think it was like, so I've been writing uh, for Volcom, like the boards, like for a very long time. Yeah. And they were made by Capita. Yeah. And also there was like the, yeah, the influence Capita had uh, like on me uh, earlier. And so I was like really at some point, like when Vulcan stopped making boards, they were like to a few of us in the team, they were like, guys, now you just find your boards, like oh, who cool. it's going to so be. And, and then. And had you met Blue for, at that point? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I had like, I went to the factory before, like maybe five years before, before, before that. And I was like really so in like amazed by Blue uh he, i was yeah he has incredible vision and His vision and the, the, yeah. the factory there is like oh yeah insane and and that was the first time i was visiting a factory and i i started to realize like all the work there is behind like making a snowboard and stuff so i was like really align was yourself kind of a those big guys. day for That's, me i really remember yeah. it well and and since that day i was like oh if there was like one company i would really yeah. like to to be with so it was Capita. Capita first. Um, Capita first and then Union. Was no, Union like fr from a very long time. Ago. Oh, really? Yeah. With the Volcom boards? With the Volcom oh, boards. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't I've know been, that. I've yeah. been writing the, the bindings for, I don't know, 
more than 10 years. Well, they're, I mean, it's their 20th year yeah. next year. It's yeah. our 20th year at Tribute this year. Oh. And we actually have a collab it? binding coming out. Thank you. <laughs> we have a collab coming out uh, this this December that I'm excited to show you guys on nice. the next one. But cool. um, yeah, 20 years, that's wild. So yeah, you've probably been with Union a very, very long time. Yeah, there. yeah. And that's very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. I love the little deep dives in history too to get a sense of, you know how you're you made your way through to you know where you are now yeah and uh well back to the product yeah you know we know now basically the takeaways today are you know, stiff soft finding that balance mm. finding the balance with your board we know that this guy a little surfier yeah careful with that word but a little surfier you can still land a 60 foot side hit like arthur in this no problem but no forward lean. Forward lean lives over here, a little more aggressive, like Arthur was saying, on a day where it could be variable. That's when we're talking about the force, and I'm sure that's when you're grabbing the yeah. force. It's yeah. Maybe more so in Europe than it would be in Nelson. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're pretty it blessed on here, the, right? On the spots. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, maybe, yeah, one more thing is that, uh, yeah, you feel your board a bit more, oh, yeah, over these mainings. You yeah. just, like, feel the torsions and, like, all the things that happen in the board, and... There's actually a lot more happening than you 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 think. Like yeah. on every little bounce, you can kind of like ah, like get the, kind of yeah. get it under the feet, like and so give your board twists almost in a sense, yeah. right? Like you can pressure that toe to get more on edge, yeah. where the old bindings were just a big old dead zone. Yeah, like some of the stuff I used to ride '90s, early 2000s, you literally had a big metal dead zone on your yeah. board breaking boards half yeah, the time because of the knife edge uh, yeah exactly and yeah. that's you know unique to to these ones too all of these there's a reason you see these you know these half moon cuts and everything you don't want any straight edges on a board that's going to fold a snowboard in half if you ever get too far back too far forward so yeah. a lot of i mean the tech into all the unions is is always you know top tier they know what they're doing yeah. they really know what they're doing oh, yeah Right on. Well, Arthur, thanks for the deep dive. Thank you, know, you Shane. I love this stuff. Yeah. We, we hope to have you again, of course, and we yeah. will. I'll um, come back. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, anytime. Yes, and thanks again for watching the Tribute Lounge. We have started a Patreon, so down below you'll see, if you become a member, there's going to be some cool opportunities. You can get a one-on-one -on -one with Fawcett. He can get into a deep dive of your gear, maybe, like Arthur and I have done today. And there'll be some other cool opportunities, some hoodies coming up for members there. And again, subscribe. Thanks to everybody that already has. We really appreciate it. It's how we keep this rolling too. And my friend, I can't wait to have you on again. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>